Hi everyone, it's Sue um, and I do have another journal flip here. This one is made out of a Reader's Digest um, hardback book and I have left the cover because I thought the blue was, um, it was really quite nice. Um, I have put extra protection for the spine with some fabric and I've got a doily that's wrapped around like that. Then we have um, just this little um, area for whatever you want to name the journal. I do have this one here. Now this one was made with the Kaiser Craft Open Road um, paper pack. And we have Sari Silk opening. Alright, now this one um, has a kind of an Australian bird theme. Okay, so we do have a journaling card in the pocket. Some of the images were from um, books obviously they're not all from the paper pack <clears throat> in pocket with a little bird on there some trim along the side and what have we got here let me just Okay, we have another little pocket with some more little birds. And I'll just Coffee dyed paper with some lace. Plenty of room in here for journaling. Um, I like to leave a lot of room for journaling. Um, it's just the way I do things. Now this one here is some note paper and it is uh, sewn in and it does actually maybe I'll pop it down, it does actually open up if I can open it up like so. So plenty of space there. More um, lace edging and another little pocket made out of a wallpaper uh, what are they called? It's like a strip that goes around like a border. And another little card. Some music paper. Another tag. And these, all the birds in here are Australian birds. And they were taken from one of those little field guide books that, that you can get. And it was specific to, um, I think it was Victoria and it was the wet sort of wetlands of Victoria and as I said that's the paper is from or maybe I didn't say the paper is actually from the open road um, paper pack by Kaiser Craft and we have some coffee dyed with a little bird in the corner and a little bag here with another little tag. Most of the tags were made um, using recycled cardboard. So this one you can see that it's obviously some sort of packaging. Sorry, you might not have been able to see that. And it does kind of have a blue theme through it too. Um, one of my little faux stamps that I made some time ago. Calendar page. Just a lace flip. Uh, just a card in there. That's the center of the signature. Another little pocket with another little tag. And one of those exploding pockets that I made some time ago. Now we have uh, I've got a side on here. Now this is actually made with piano roll. And we have this little tag slots into there and then you can take this one out here. Um, now the, the flowers there are actually from an Australian flower book as well and that's the name of the flower. So that goes over there. Okay what do we got? Okay we've got some lace edging on this page. The other side of that. Either way. 
Now this one's a little wonky in the way it sits. Just seems to be noticeable at the end of the signature. Just didn't sit right when I made it. So just be aware of that as well. More of the open roads paper. And um, a pocket made from um, a very wide, uh, I'm not sure what they're called, a lace, like an embroidered, um, embroidered lace sort of whatever that is. And we have this little tag, and as you can see, that's obviously recycled paper card. This is a page from um, an Australian uh, wildlife, uh, I'm sorry, wildflower book. And just some fold out there. <clears throat> And one of the little windows that I made some time ago. It's a bit of a thread. And another pocket. We have another little card and an Australian stamp. Bird, little bird. A few bits of trim. Another one of those cards. Now I'm not sure if they're Australian though. Oh yeah, they are. Okay. Different papers. Oops. Gently, there we go. One of the faux stamps I made using napkins and that's um, a kookaburra, obviously. For those who know what a kookaburra is. <laughs> uh, we have another little bird there in the corner. And another tag. And some more um, edging there. And another tag. And we have a little cluster with the there. And another tag that fits in there. So this is the Australian bird one. Now I do have another one and I'll just do that a little bit quicker because it's very similar, has very similar things except that it concentrates more on the flowers. So this is a page from that wildlife, uh, some wild flower book, Australian flower book two bits of the cotton sort of lace and I've joined them together and the it has just some uh, scrapbook paper a um, bit of uh, lace around there sari silk I think it is and again as I said very similar um, this one has a little just a little booklet in the pocket at the front and same paper pack, the open road paper pack, and a faux stamp, flowers in the corner, uh, again the pocket with uh, a tag, Australian flower card. Uh, center of the signature that one opens right out plenty of space there and just a journaling tag card And again, one of those sort of side pockets with a little journaling tag made from the piano roll. Another card, tag. And the lace flip. Uh, tea bag that's um, a used tea bag. Oops. Uh, 
and the exploding pocket. Another pocket, another tag. Another card. Hmm, something missing from that one. And another one. Actually, what I might do, I might pop that one in there. That's better. And we have the little uh, tuck spot and another tag with a flower on it. And the third signature, <clears throat> a big journaling card. A lot of the floral images were from the Australian Wildlife oh, Wildflower book. And we have a little book page pocket and just a little tag there. A lot of sewing and get some pieces on there and the pocket. Just bring that up a little bit. Another faux stamp and one of those colouring book pages. Um, old text, old book page. And another one of these open up type pages. Uh, Wallpaper. Um, uh, border <laughs> and another tag another tag <clears throat> and journaling card and the pocket at the back and just a simple tag for that as well. Okay, so this one is the uh, flowers, Australian flowers. And as I think I mentioned, um, I will pop these in my store on my website, which I'll link below. Um, I think that's about it. I will put down, there are three signatures in each of these. Um, I will write, put down how many pages and all that sort of thing and the size. They're actually the same size as far as I remember. Yep, um, seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters, uh, five and a half or 14 centimeters and it's probably an inch and a half spine I'd say. Yeah, inch and a half spine which is about four centimeters. So that's those two um, journals that are for sale on my website. All right, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye for now.